is the United States going to see a dramatic slowdown in population growth in the months and years ahead? And if so, if we have fewer mouths to feed, what's the impact on demand for the markets we cover? Hey there, Phil Plourd, Head of Insights for Everag. Please be sure to read the disclaimer at the end of this video. Okay, last week, the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas published a fascinating paper covering unauthorized immigration over the past several years, possible deportation scenarios, and the potential impact on GDP. In the paper, using Homeland Security data, it showed that we had 8.5 million net unauthorized persons come into the United States between 2021 and 2024. Population grew by 2.8% over that period. That's a sharp contrast to the 1.9% increase in population from the previous four years, 2017 through 2020. And so more people, more people to feed, more demand for products, right? And interestingly enough, if you look at cheese consumption in the period 2021 through 2024, it grew by 938 million pounds. And that was up 18% over the 797 million pounds of growth we saw from 2017 to 2020. And during that time, per capita consumption actually went down. So you got to believe that a big influx of people certainly helped drive the bus in terms of some of those consumption gains. What happens if the population doesn't grow? Is it possible that in a year, we're going to wonder, huh, why is demand just so-so? The economy might be okay. Other things might be going right. And domestic demand is just not going all that well. Well, it could be that we just have fewer people coming to the United States or less population growth overall. A trend to follow? We'll be covering it. Sign up for Phil Plourd's Monday Morning Demand Notes by emailing us at insights at ever.ag.